Hello, this is Lobo here. I hope you guys are doing swell today. I, if I sound like I'm a little quiet, it's because um my energy is a little low right now. Uh, I just ate, so I'm full and I feel tired. So I decided that I wanted to do a video on another replay analysis on Yoshimitsu on one of the subs that wanted their gameplay to be reviewed. Now this particular matchup with Yoshimitsu and Claudio, since I already know how to play Yoshimitsu and I just managed to reach Bushin myself with Claudio, I'll at least try to explain some of the points that the player here has managed to fail in doing so and what are they're doing correctly against Claudio and then what they can then continue doing to then improve on their mistakes and what they're already doing correctly. So let's get to it. Nice, Sue. Okay, so you went for down forward one and two to hit the Claudio. Though, to be honest, I would not have done that solely on the fact that he could have ducked on the second hit. All right, this is like getting a little funny now. So, you managed to go for up forward three plus four, and then the Claudio ended up whiffing his attack. Okay, let's see. Okay, you spaced out, trying to go for three one. He may try to duck you here, he doesn't duck. And instead like decides to go into down back two to try to catch you off guard, which is weird. Smart. All right. I would have done three slide four instead to get the wall, and then go into your. I believe you can attempt to go into three two one plus two again. Yeah, you can just do that instead. In fact, you can could get a little bit more damage. Yeah, you can get a little bit more damage. That's minus 11, so you could have at least attempted to go into your 2-2 two, two, or 1-1. One, one. I would have not done that either. See, seeing that he's already in the rage state... I would have just managed to just press down to get off of the dragonfly stance and then see what he'll do right afterwards. You already have a big life lead, so he kind of already assumes that you're going to try to bombard him with some frame traps. So him going for this now, he you're going to get caught. Alrighty then, he ends up whiffing into his forward 1 plus 2, which if you blocked it, you can actually launch him. And if he goes for the second 1 plus 2, then you can still launch him, I believe. But the fact that you managed to catch him into the kangaroo kick is smart. At this point, the Claudio is going to assume how you're playing. And it's going to try to then adapt, but at this point, you're somehow still managing to catch him off guard. Okay. Okay, I uh, gotta be careful. Uh, ooh, wow, I thought you did meditation stance. You went for back three <laughs> instead. Okay, so you gotta be mindful of Claudio doing his running two, especially if he has his starburst. Because he could decide not to go into the running two and decide to go into down back one plus two to catch you off guard. So you gotta be careful against Claudio's once they are at the neutral and attempt to see if you can either try to attempt to step them Though, trying to duck them will be beneficial as well, so you can try to launch them. If you manage to block the second hit of the move, it's still safe, so you can't really press any buttons against the Claudio, unless you try to go for lows to stop him from attempting to do something else from right there. 
but since he ended, ended up getting hit by the initial last hit, he gets the launch. Not a really good combo, he could have gone for more damage against you and you really would have been put down at the red zone to the point where even if you attempted to go for Rage Art, if he saw that you was going to do it, he might just go for some move and still hit you and take you down. The down 1 into 2 once he's in heat state or has starburst is safe as well, so you gotta be careful. Nice. Though it will be more beneficial if you just duck the move and then launch him. Okay, good, nice. Uh, if he managed to block it, you will be minus 14, so he could have actually punished you. I believe you had em enough time to actually do something there since he got wall splatted. But it's fine. Mm, he went for Heat Smash instead. He could have actually gone for more against you, but you know, it's under your favor now. He no longer has his heat. You still have your heat. And as long as that you don't put him in a, in a condition where he will be at the red to get rage, you can probably survive this. Uh, but you ended up waking up into a side Okeme and then attempted to attack. And you also went for back one, so I would advise that to use back one super close. Simply because uh, I believe back one is 18 frames on startup, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. All right, you went for Kensho. I'm, ass I'm assuming the reason why you did this because you wanted to parry him. But then, as soon as you saw that he did nothing, you attempted to press one to then try to catch him with one of your neutral moves. But then he ended up using that move against you. I would say don't use Kensho at round start if you don't know for certain if they're gonna be spamming moves. So instead, if you're gonna go into Kensho, which I still wouldn't re recommend using it at round start, at least go immediately into forward 2 or forward 1 or even back 2 1 either one but I, I would just say just use just back 2 or either the other two moves that I just mentioned alright uh, if he does this move let's go back now that he goes into his heat dash he's plus 5 you can't really press into anything so if you press anything right there, it's because you didn't know that he was already at frame advantage. He then decides to go into down one, into two. So I'm going to assume that you thought that he was going to do a high move, but he went for down one instead. Nice. You anticipated that he's going to go for the side step four, not you low parried him. I... I'm going to assume here also that you didn't know the actual proper combo and you just panicked. Either that or you just panicked in general. Okay, you just jumped normally. You would try to. St I think you, you was attempting to step, but it tells me here in the command hub that you had tried to go into your up 3 plus 4. So you must have missed input the move if you didn't get the move that you wanted. Nice. Though, why would you go and do up 3 plus 4? If you already whipped the opportunity to use it, then doing that wouldn't have been the best option. And in, in fact, since you managed to duck this running 2, you should have just went for 2 1 right there to catch him off guard. Alright, so that was the first set. Let's do the second set now. Alright, so this time you didn't immediately go into any of your moves. Now you're trying to adapt and see exactly what the Claudio will do next to you. So this is smart, don't immediately force the turn by pressing buttons against the Claudio, especially seeing that he already managed to win against you. Try to be playing, try to play more safe is the best way to go about it. Alright, you managed to evade the initial hit that's going to go for, but then you decided to go into 3. In which in this case you probably didn't know, didn't know he's gonna go for whatever moves gonna go right afterwards so what i would have done in that situation if he ended up whiffing i wouldn't really go for three one i would just wait it out and see what he'll do next because he's in a crouching position 
So if he wanted to, he could have gone for hop kick or a wolf standing two. So I, I, what I've done here is probably what I've either gone for a sidestep. I think you tried to low parry the move, but it didn't work against the Claudio. So that's not really on you. It's mostly on the system itself. Uh, to make it work, really, you have to spam down forward while you're crouched to make it work. I, I don't like the fact that if you hold it, you still can't get the low parry. So that's why you didn't get the low parry right there. When he does forward four, from what I remember, it's plus four on block. Right here. When he does this move and you block it, he's plus four. So if you press any buttons right there, especially since you're already forced into a crouching position, you can't do anything. You could try going for a wall standing four, but since he's already in, in plus four, and I believe wall standing four is 10 frames, no, 11 frames on startup, that will put you at a 15 frame interval, while his move that he uses next is a 14 frame on startup move. So whatever move you, you would have used in this situation, you probably would have gone into a counter situation. So in this in this state, don't press any buttons if he does forward four. Though then again, there, there could be a chance that you could try parrying him since you are in a crouching position and you can still go into a one plus two or maybe even flash him. So let's just see. Yeah, you could have just flashed him or if you can try parrying him, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. So I'm going to attempt it. Yeah, you can parry him. He kind of got more damage again. I don't know why he's doing these, these weird finishers. You try to force the the turn. When you do one one, regardless if you're in your heat state or your no sword stance, it's still minus nine. So you wait, just to be sure, because I don't want to be incorrect here. Yeah, you're still minus nine. So doing this move and then trying to force the turn again into some other move you wanted to use, he's still gonna be able to hit you off of that move. And I see that you attempted to go and press two. So you, yeah, you tried to take off the turn from the Claudio. Uh, like, good choice, but since he already reacted and or recovered immediately from the attack, he managed to block it. Nice step. Mm, you probably panicked there. You didn't know what to do right afterwards. Should have ducked. <laughs> you always do the, the most orthodox thing in the fight. Like, it's very, it's, it's kind of funny. That could have worked, but he was a little too far away still. And you attempted to go for 2-2 two, two while you were in, in a blocking state. And mind you, while he's doing running 2, from what I remember, let's check one more time. He is plus 6. So again, you attempted to steal the turn off the opponent when he did running 2. So running, running attacks in general tend to be plus on block. So attempting to steal the turn by doing any attack besides maybe flash will probably would have worked against the uh, Claudio. Let's just check. Yeah, that would have worked. Round three. Fight. You went to go into your one into back one. So again, you're, you're still not playing adaptively against the Claudio. You're being too aggressive, or should I say, you're being a little bit too impatient. So already, since you are at the last round where the Claudio would win the set, I can see that you're panicking. Or you're, you're trying to force the interaction against the Claudio when he already has two wins. So this is where you should be playing more defensively against the Claudio, not more aggressively. That may work against people that may not know what you'll do right afterwards, but he kind of downloaded you in the two rounds in this set so trying to play more adaptively and more patiently is the best way to then f figure out how to fight against the claudio since he seems to already know that you don't know the matchup 
so it's best to just play more defensively. He does back one. Back one is safe. But you could at least try to uh, step him since you're R plus 5 in this situation. Or you could at least try to go for a low attack. You tried doing so right here, but you went for your full crush on 4 to 4, which is like what? I think it's like 20 something frames on startup, so it's very slow. And he ended up doing his, I believe it's down back 2 into 1, which is on startup frames is 11 frames. So, best part of it could be that either decide to go into a low attack to beat him, but since he went for this, going for a hop kick would have been probably be the best option there. Okay, now that you're in the defensive, you have to guess what he'll be doing next. And he goes for Heat Smash. He's still towards the wall, so this could be the end of the round. You gotta be very sure what he'll do next. He might end up going for a, a mid or a low. Decides to go for a low, but ends up whiffing. Good job, so now... Yes. You're playing a little too safe with your Dragonfly stance into 4. Maybe try to bait into the forward 1 plus 2 a little bit since you didn't really use it often in the game. Or at all, I don't think so, during the first set and this set. So using it to at least try to get a little bit of mental frames against the opponent to scare them. And see whether or not if you can bait them into the flash or use either a jab to see if they will attempt to attack you or not. You had a chance to go for the bound, but you didn't know that the wall was going to end up sucking in the Claudio in and not giving you the chance to do so. So I think that's why you went for that move instead. Good stuff. Now you went for 2-2. Two, two. Mm, trying to force the hop kick against the Claudio right there is not really a good idea since he has low health and you have low health. So one thing that you could try doing is forcing a low, the full crush on forward 4 would have been the better option. And since you have both swords off of you, you don't have them in your hands, you can attempt to go for full crush down forward 3 instead to catch him off guard. Either that or just wait it out and see if he's going to bait you into the rage arc. But you managed to catch him off guard, you played defensively and you got him with the 1-1. He mixed you hell and back right there, I, I can't lie. At that point, if you are getting that mixed up, this definitely showcases that he already has the win condition off right there. Like, he already has it into his chart. Like, he has it in, in his Pokedex. If he has a Pokedex, he, it says right there that he's winning. He's gonna win. When he does back four into one and you block the last hit, the last hit can be ducked from back four into one. So you could actually punish him right there, but since you didn't know that, on block is plus one. So he could try to do something there, but since he's gonna go for a crouching move to stop you right there, he did. Now he could attempt to do something else there and he decides to go for his final move. He's still in plus frames right here since he, since he had Starburst. So now he's plus six. Now you gotta really respect him here. But I'm going to guess that you're going to attack and you did. So overall, from what I can see from your replay, at the beginning you felt a little confident with your character because you didn't think that the Claudio would know exactly what you'll be doing to them. But as soon as the Claudio started to download you a bit and adapt to what you were trying to go for, and in fact, I didn't really see you doing much of like the other cheesy stuff, flowcharts that Yoshimitsu tend to do, like going for Samurai Cutter, attempting to go into full crush on 4-3, I didn't even really see you do full crouch on 4 to 4. Besides, like, like a couple of times you attempted to, but you got interrupted. So, trying to use these moves in the neutral benefits you a lot as Yoshimitsu. But the matchup against the Claudio, since he kind of has control over the neutral because of his back 4 and his running 2, you didn't really use these moves. But you still could at least try to implement them in your gameplay. 
Because if you at least implement your full crouch on fort 4 in the neutral for keep away, trying to use uh, moves like your down back 3 as well, a little bit to play in the sense of the neutral to get around the Claudio, and then attempting to also fish for flashes, which I didn't really see you do either. There was a couple of moments that you could have used flash, but you didn't really use it when you had the opportunity to use it. And whenever Claudio went for a low attack, you didn't really go for hop kick. So you, and you didn't really fish for down forward twos either. Down forward two is pretty good and the neutral as well. Not super great, but still better than nothing. But you did attempt to use your CD too. So you were actually implementing some form of neutral against the Claudio. It's just that the CDT wasn't working as often. It, you didn't really get the count head properties from it to get the launch. So that's really not on you, but you did make the right choices using CD2, just that you didn't get the counter hit. Besides that, I didn't really see you use Kensho into other moves as well, and at least attempt to go into Kensho 3 or Kensho back 2 to at least see whether or not if the Claudio would get caught. But at least attempting to use more flashes can actually help you out, especially if you're in your no sword sense. That would have benefited you a whole lot more. And I think that's really it. I, I can't really tell whether or not that if you just didn't know the matchup, and I'm going to assume that that's what it was. You didn't know the matchup against Claudio. And now that I'm telling you some of the things that you could have done in the gameplay, I hope that this would help you out when you do come across another Claudio, especially now with the whole uh, tournament that went by in Korea. The winner was a Claudio main, and I know a lot of people are going to bitch and moan and say that Claudio is strong now, which he's not, but... The fact of the matter is, is that if you're playing against someone that plays Claudio, you're going to meet up, meet up against somebody who is fundamentally strong. And this guy ended up adapting to you pretty fast in the first set and now into the second set. So trying to incorporate more of the cheese with Yoshimitsu could have actually won you the game, even if he was a Bushin. So in summary, try to be more patient if you're in the losing uh, side of, the th of things. Try to use more lows, especially full crash on 44 in the neutral, not up close, in the neutral. And at least attempt to use other neutral moves like down forward 1 and down forward 4 in the neutral if they're trying to get too close to you. And if, and like specifically if you're fighting against Claudio, be more defensive. Because if you're not applying pressure against the Claudio and the Claudio already thinks that you're a pushover, he's going to start spamming his running 2 against you and you're going to get caught. If you don't duck it as often or at least punish his running two by ducking it and then launching him with with while standing two one so he's going to continue using it anyways if you're not punishing it correctly so that's about it i think that if you just work on the things that i just mentioned you will improve greatly but i can't be i, I can't say that i can guarantee you that you'll rank up uh quickly now that i'm telling you this but i hope that this helps you out in your future endeavors and ranking up with yoshimitsu so that is all guys, if you guys liked the video, I hope that you give this video a like. I hope that you subscribe and see more of my shit. I do have a Twitch channel, so if you guys want to come up, Monday I'll be streaming again. And if you also want to meet up in the Discord and show me your Tekken ID for any other replays in the future, come by. And yeah, that's about it. Stay tuned.